Hello and welcome back all you viewers, this is Sweet Battle Scars once again and uh, I am back to show you Monster Hunter Illustrations 2, just as promised. And uh, so we're going to be taking a look inside and see what this awesome book has to show us. Now this is the Japanese version, it is not um, the English version. There hasn't been a Western release of this book yet, like uh, Monster Hunter Illustrations 1. Uh, the one I showed you in my previous video was uh, the English version as I mentioned in the video. Now, the Japanese version of uh, Monster Hunter Illustrations 1 actually came in a sleeve similar to this, unlike the English version. And uh, you can see the two books inside. This is actually the, the actual book here, as you see, and it comes with an extra book in the back. Now, I think this is a much better uh, method. I think this is a much better presentation. And uh, I wish that the English version would have done something like this, at least something similar. But, um, so I gotta say, uh, first point for the Japanese version, really nice sleeve and uh, of course a bonus book. Um, so we're gonna be looking, uh, taking a look first at the cover, um, very epic. You see there the Ligia Cross armor and uh, the Nagarkuga armor in the background. Uh, Hunter wearing that armor of course. Here we have the uh, female Jinoga or Zinogre armor as it is now in English and the Brachidios armor in the front. And uh, very nice sleeve. I got. I. I. I keep saying that, but I. I just got to repeat it. It's a really nice sleeve, and uh, I'm glad that the Japanese version I, I, comes to like this, and I'm glad I imported it. So I gotta take the book out here. And so this is the actual book. So this is your Monster Hunter Illustrations two, and it comes with a bonus of uh, Monster Hunter Illustrations two, also monochrome. So. Uh, you know, I'll be showing showing you that later, but it's basically just uh, sketches, outlines, no real color, no renderings, no uh, really no finished work. But uh, it's actually nice because it shows you some of the very early drawings um, that go into making these awesome armors and monsters. So cover once again, just like the sleeve, awesome presentation, very nice, um, nice uh, picture of the hunters there. And we're gonna, and uh, this actually is a second sleeve. And underneath, you have this nice, uh, like, kind of uh, brushed drawing. I gotta see, it's uh, since I have my light on, and this page is uh, really white, it's kind of hard to see, but I think you can kind of see it there. Nice sketches of uh, some uh, felines and uh, trees and animals. So, really nice, really nice uh, little drawing. So let's move along here and as you can see from the cover, this in, uh, this book includes drawings from more recent games such as uh, Portable 3rd and Try Ultimate or Try G in Japan. It also comes with these awesome bookmarks. So that's, you know, of course uh, in Japan they get all the cool stuff. Uh, my book, my Monster Hunter Illustrations one didn't even come with any bookmarks. So. Uh, yes, I am complaining. Okay, so first section called image. It's just start showing you some of the really, uh, I think, finalized uh, drawings, pictures of the game. Uh, showing Legia Crust there. Eating uh, some flying monster. Cideus. Or Cideus. However you want to pronounce it, I will not go into that again. And uh, so Japanese text, obviously, not English. So maybe we'll see a Western release of this book. And uh, so we get to read the text also. I know one of the things that I really liked of the English version of Monster Hunter Illustrations 1 was the actual text because it, it packed a lot of really interesting stories about monsters and hunters and whatnot. So more pictures here. So again, we're going to kind of fly through these and uh, Devil Joe here, really awesome picture. One of my favorite monsters is Devil Joe, so he's looking really nice in this uh, picture in the tundra in the middle of a snowstorm, kind of complaining to God because he's put him in such a cold weather. Or maybe he's just kind of uh, smiling. Uh, here we have a uh, Jan Moran picture. Uh, more awesome drawings. Ooh, 
Here's a really good one of a nice little sketch with color and everything of Zinogre and a hunter. So really nice. There are more Zinogre here, as you can see. So let's move along. Uh, some really nice uh, images, drawings of the village in Portable Third. So um, Portable Third has one of the most uh, uh, appealing villages, I gotta say. So I really like the environment in Portable Third of the village. So nice drawing of the village there. Nice, nice concept art. And uh, here some more Zinoga, Zinogre. I'm just gonna call them by those two names. I can't get used to Zinogre yet. Uh, more uh, village pictures. Some uh, close-ups. Again, portable third village. So showing you there some of the areas in the game. And of, and of course they look as gorgeous in the game as they do in the art. All about portable third. The uh, hot springs. And uh, really nice. So here we have some drawings of uh, like kind of like shops where the feline felines reside. I guess for where you get to craft your armor and uh, weapons for your feline companions in Portable Third. Here we have some ships, some boats. I think maybe more relating to uh, try. Since that's more of a fishing village, um, yes, here we have some um, images of, uh, I think, Tri-G. Yes, this looks like Tri-G. Actually, some of the areas in Tri-G, like that one there, that's definitely Tri-G. So, uh, really awesome. More, Some more images there. So, this section was all about uh, areas, and uh, here we have... Uh, of course, uh, the new Elder Dragon in Tri-G, as you see him there. I still can't pronounce his name, so don't ask me. <laughs> um, so nice, nice picture of him there, making an appearance. So now we go into the area called Monsters, or Monster. And so, so we get into some neat, really nice sketching of monsters, as you can see here. Uh, some of the bugs, bug types, um, showing you different... Uh, Colorations and uh, uh, kind of uh, sides, uh, like the pro prof, uh, profile view of their faces. Uh, oh, nice picture of a Latrian. Uh, you know, profile and then front of his face. Nice sketch down here. Look at that, he looks pretty epic. Oh, and uh, another one of my favorite monsters, Agnoctor. Uh, stupid light is getting in the way. You can kind of see him there. If the light, there we go, maybe there, there, yes, there we go. Kind of the, the light gets in the way. These pages are so white, but there you go. Agnoctor. And yes, even better, more Devil Joe. More Devil Joe awesomeness. You can really see that guy there. Um, front view, and then Rage Mode. And Uragon, really nice picture of Uragon. It's looking really cool. So showing you like their skeletons and profile views and their front views. So uh, really going into detail. Some uh, Jan and Kurupeko Giganox on the side there. Let me. Um, some sketches for uh, Cideos. And uh, also making an appearance. Gobel. Get this figure builder out of here. Um, so Gobel, Baggy, Giganox, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Berioth, I'm thinking of a Giganox still, so we saw him in the last picture, and, uh, Morcia Deus, some more Berioth, and, um, Baroth, here, nice picture of a ham, and Legiacras. So, Royal Ludroth, and I'm going to start kind of skipping through these. This video is getting long already. So, uh, we're going to start skipping through some of these pages and getting to... Oh, uh, what's his name? I think uh, Lagumbi. Lagumbi. Uh, that's his uh, name for uh, Tri-Ultimate. The Elder Dragon, uh, Matsu in uh, Portable Third, also making an, an appearance there. Nice drawing. 
Uh, Morris and Ogre, really nice drawings of him. These are really detailed here. Oh, Doboru. Can't recall what his western name is. I don't know if there's one yet, but uh, there might be. I, I'm just blanking on it. Um, so here we go, more pictures. Monsters. Uh, some more sketches, initial sketches. Uh, these look very familiar, like this one there. Looks like uh, Zinogre. I don't know if it's a different monster from a different game that I haven't played, like uh, Frontier or uh, something, or if it's actually one of the very earliest concepts for Zinogre that, that over time changed into what actually Zinogre ended up looking like. So, I don't know. So, if you know, clarify in the comments. And, of course, Brachidios, the new flagship monster of uh, Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate. Also appearing in very nice, I'm going to say, nice picture of Brachidios there. Brachidios. So now we're getting into a section called Living Things. We get into some of the village uh, people and characters uh, from the guild. Uh, we have Cha-Cha there, some felines, the farmer, some fisher men and kids, some more characters. Uh, Cha-Cha with uh, various masks, so looking really nice. Nice drawings of Cha-Cha there, getting some love. More characters, some nice sketches, very early sketches, you can tell. More sketches here. Uh, the uh, a village leader from Portable 3rd, also here, so you see her. Some more characters, costumes. And again, sorry, I'm kind of uh, now flipping through these as I got to have enough time to show you most of the book or all of the book. I, I want to show you all of the book, and uh, but I want to keep the video kind of short. So hunting arms. So now we get into some of these weapons and of course in ultimate we are going to get a lot of hunting arms. So that's a really good thing. Um, I think try most people have said and I after playing Port of a Third can definitely definitely agree that uh, you know, the content was lacking a little bit, but, uh, you know, there were just, there was just a massive amount of content in Portable 3rd, and, uh, I know there are in a lot of other games like Freedom Unite. So, Ultimate, I think, sees a return to that, where we're really gonna get, uh, a lot of monsters, a lot of quests, and obviously a lot of armors and weapons. So, here you see some of these, um, dual swords, I think, yeah, dual swords. Or a sword and shield. Some of the bows here. Some gun lances here. And um, long swords, great swords. The Alatrian set. Here he shows you like the great sword, the long sword, uh, the gun lance, the lance, the hammer. So really nice. So uh, the Legia Cross set also here. Showing you some of the Legia Cross weapons. Uh, so it goes into sections. I like that they did that, that they broke it up into sections. Uh, the Devil Joe weapon there, Devil Joe great sword up there. The Ciudias, the great Viking sword, I think it's called. So some more weapons here showing you a lot of the gear you get from uh, all these monsters. So there we go, kind of flipping through these, trying to get to a different section. More weapons, even more weapons. Oh, here we get to see some of the new Brachidios weapons. At least it looks like Brachidios. That's a nice sword there, and uh, the Brachidios hammer, sword and shield. So that's looking pretty nice. And yet another figure builder in the background. Sorry, I have my uh, figure figure builder volume six uh, sitting next to the book. So the pages keep hitting the figures and they fall. But um, here we go, some more weapons. Okay, new section, defensive equipment. Now you get some of the armors and uh, this is one of my favorite sections. It really shows you some of the armors. Like we have here a complete view of the Nagakuga sets for both male, female, and uh, gunner, and uh, blade master. So, uh, Nargakuga has got one of the nicest armors, I think. I, looks really awesome. Uh, here we have the uh, Gnoctor armor for more, 
both male and female. They're looking pretty nice. Some more views there. Okay, some some more armors. Here we have some Alatrion sets. Looking nice. Now we're gonna start flipping through these. Yurgon. Here obviously you guys would recognize this anywhere as his armor is very peculiar. Very nice. Some more armors. Uh Diablos. As you can see there. Some more Barioth. That one's looking really good there. The light. Okay, let's us there you go. Nice Barioth armor. Okay, and uh so it goes on with uh Sideos there, the Dover armor here. Uh Baroth and so on and so forth. Nice Rathalos, both male and female. This one's actually a really nice drawing of Rathalos. Very well detailed. Nice. So some more armors and uh, it continues like this. It gets to some of the earlier armors. So this is an ogre. And of course a lot of new armors that we haven't even seen in Ultimate. So that we will get to see. And uh, as you guys know in Portable 3rd you get to customize your uh, feline companion. So here are some of the armor sets for them. It's kind of unfortunate that we don't get to do that in Ultimate. So uh, maybe later we'll get to do that in another game. I think uh, Monster Hunter 4 will let you do that. Brachidio's armor set. Right here. And so, uh, you know, then at the end you get some of the logos, the icons for monsters and different uh, for the quests. And uh, some of the more simple drawings, very stylized. Different areas and characters, some more sketches, very stylized drawings here, and it goes on like this until the very end. So, uh, that's the book, Monster Hunter Illustrations 2. And uh, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, it also comes with this bonus uh, monochrome book. So what it basically is, I've already shown you the the actual book, so with a lots of interesting pictures. So this is just uh, you know a lot of sketches, but it's really nice to look at some of the and the lights kind of messing things up here. Let me see if I can turn it down a bit. Okay, that's much better, I think. So you can see it's a lot of sketches. You see a bunch of felines there. You know, so I'm, uh, very early on sketches, and these are very very rough. Uh, completely unfinished so very you know you can definitely tell that the creators here the people working on the game were brainstorming so uh, very rough sketches here very just lines just contour lines outlines um, weapons here are some armors some very nice early drawings uh, of armors and it goes on like this so I think it's really nice that um, Capcom decided to include this in their Japanese version of the book. I wish uh, that they would have done the same for the Western version, but it's okay. It works. So uh, I gotta say, really nice book also, just to look at the pictures, since uh, I obviously don't speak or read Japanese, so too bad there. And look, Pink Radian makes an appearance too, so let's just let her, whatever, she kept falling. Uh, it's a nice book overall. Um, very pleased with it. I had to import this, obviously. This hasn't been released here, but uh, overall, a nice book. Um, so let's hope to uh, that we get to see a Western release of this book uh, very soon. So, thanks you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.